cause I be busting the dope move. But the problem stay the same. How you riding for the cash when you ain't riding in my lane? Shorty all about a paper, so your mixtures look the same. In the game, I play the lane like Eddie Kane, cause I be busting the dope move. You can believe what you want to believe, but to believe in something that has no evidence, it, it's funny. It's weird. It's strange. It's not. It shouldn't be the norm, even though it is. It, that shouldn't be the normal thing. Some people should will do it. We understand that. But everybody or the masses believing in something that nobody can believe is like weird. And like it is. And when you look at it, all right. And then when you look at it like that, that's the only reason I'm an atheist. I'm not an atheist because I hate God. I'm not even an atheist because I hate religion. But when somebody sit in my face and they tell me, you don't question God telling Abraham to kill his sons because he's God, I ain't going for that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not following no gods that say kill all the Canaanites, men, women, and children included. I can't, I can't get behind nobody like that. And the Muslims is just as bad. The Muslims is just as bad. The shit they say proposed to do. I agree with you. I'll say, for this, I'll say this with a fact. It's worse for women, no question. Yeah. No question. They go in too. They, they start talking that shit. They vicious. They go in just they, the same. Oh, oh, yeah. I read it. That, I read they it. They put chains on niggas, uh, niggas next to uh, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was vicious. They was vicious. Yeah, they was vicious, dog. They was no joke. And I'm all I'm saying is that that was not our culture, Paco. That was forced on us. That's all I'm trying they, to tell you. They made it. No, I'm not I disputing them. Nah, no, but but nobody can really serve their crime because everybody won't tell the truth. Different people, everybody blaming the next man. The Sunnis blame the Shiites. The Shiites blame the Sunnis. Now, when it comes to the just the, the people who ain't Sunni, the shit, you still ain't find out the peacock religion because you kept writing that to me this morning about Zor how the Zoroastrianism is fucking peacock religion. But what, but you ain't telling me what peacock mean. I don't know what that means. Peacock is the same fucking people, the Yazidis, that you keep sending me. And, and it's a well-known fact that their god is the peacock, which is Zoroastrianism, which is the first Muslim shit. Nah, Pe Zor Zoroastrian god is a, is a, is like a is like a man. His name is uh, 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 Zahora, Z Zahora Mangru. Mangru, well, Mangru. Look up his name and then look up Peacock. And, and it's not, it's not exactly the same. That's just where they stole. That's just where they stole hell from. Heaven and hell, and they stole the 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 the, the, the forever. Oh, and did I not have I not exercised the demon of of there are fucking atheist Buddhists? Haven't I proven that now? Even if you don't accept that form of Buddhism, even but is there a form of Buddhism called secular Buddhism? It is exactly, and that's atheist. They not frauds because you don't understand the concept that your Buddhism don't have nothing to do with God. Even the Buddhist monks are saying that they saying that you don't have to deal with God. People who people who do search for the plane of enlightenment that the gods chill on. That's, yeah. that's just a different, uh, what is it called? You know, degree or something of enlightenment. Yeah, that's why I trust the laws. Because the Buddhists meditated on the shit and made the fucking laws. And everybody corrupted the shit. But the Hebrew that's laws the ain't the Buddhist. But the Hebrew laws ain't the Buddhist laws. I mean, Jesus was in the Buddhist, uh, Buddha camp. I agree with you. For, for a while. Like, I agree with you. If Jesus so was a real Buddhist person, Buddhism. if Jesus was a real person, he was definitely Asian. I mean, I heard that a lot. I believe that 100%. But, I heard it was black, purple, I mean, green, yeah, Afro-Asiatic, though. I'm saying Afro-Asiatic. I'm not saying yellow or red. I'm saying oh, okay. I'm saying black Asian. Yeah. Like he was a Middle Eastern. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. If he was hey, a real person. Buddhist. Exactly. No Christian, no Catholic, no nothing. That nigga was a fucking Buddhist. I read that more, more than anything else, too. Everybody, yeah. everybody agree with you. Jesus was a Buddhist. Mm -hmm. They don't believe that Jesus followed no fucking Christianity. No, he, he, he ain't say shit about no goddamn Christians. Nothing. It didn't exist. He, Correct. He was a religious Buddhist. <laughs> Correct. Correct. That's exactly what it say. That's exactly what it say about him. If, if you pay attention, and that's what I'm just. Mm -hmm. So now look. Now let's look at perception. When people say copper color skin, black people in America think that they talking about them. I, I, I would think so, yeah. Nah, bro, it's not a Paco. Look at my skin, nigga. Paco, look, at, Paco, look how many people got that same skin complexion. Brown. Who? 
Middle Easterners, Ethiopians, South Asians, North Africans, Sub Saharan Africans, Australians, South Americans. North Africans is gumbo pot like we is and shit. Agreed. I, I like to call it the first America. Correct. I do. I agree with you. It is a gumbo yeah. pot. It's a gumbo and it's a and it's a hell of a gumbo pot because they got the middle, the Afro Asiatic, the African, the European. And they got the, the mixed race North African. And all that's brewing. All that is yeah. in, in between the Levant, the Maghreb, all that's brewing. And, yeah. that's, and that's what I'm trying to explain to you. It would be impossible for you to say that these Moorish people and all the things that Moors did go to A, one group of people, and B, that you're that group of people. That's religious shit. Only the religious books say that. The history books don't say that. The history books say that the Moors spread out, like you said, at, from Semitic people, just like when I told the story of Israel, the people who was Canaanites are not Moors. The people who are Canaanites predate Israel, predate Judaism. Somebody here just doesn't belong. They're the Somebody indigenous people of different. they're the indigenous people of Israel. They were forced to become the first black Hebrews. Because they were enslaved. Yeah, the Moors were the Hebrews. The, the Jew. Shit. The Jew Catholic did it. Shit. They started the fucking <laughs> Islamic shit. Right. But, but, it, but it's not the Moors. The, it's not the Moors. It's the people who would later be under Moors rule. That's who you're talking about. Like the Moors, like, like you hear how when you read the word, it says the word Moor was later on reassigned. Yeah, white people fight amongst each other. That's all we need. Right. And my point to you is this. Now, when the kingdom of Rome was created. Like right now, say me, you are empires. I'm like, what the fuck you say, Brock, about the damn Moors? you like, I said the Moors were African. I'm be mad as shit. I'm like, yo, we, we taking over, dog. But what I'm saying we is. We have hot tea and fucking crumpets. Paco, some like, Moors were African. We going to war, nigga. Paco, some Moors were African. Some Moors were European. Some Moors were Afro-Asiatic. By time, oh, why can't they be different? Why can't they, they are different? They the are same. different. The only We're thing different. that the only thing that unites them is more being a more, unless they share a religion, That's which it. is very possible. Maybe a snake on their, on their head or something. Maybe they might a they might That's share it. they might share a, uh they might share a religion. Some of them, but some of them definitely do. Some hey, from Hebrew a, people was accepting everybody. They was going to every religion. Like yo, how no are Hebrew people was forced into motherfucking slavery by sure. the people that you For are sure. saying you are. For sure. In Hebrew, the people, if you want to be technical, Black Hebrews, Tazariak, they I'm are. A piece of shit Cherokee too. I don't run from my history. I don't run from nothing. But what I'm, but run. what I'm explaining I'm to you, but what I'm, but what I'm saying show. to you is why you can't be that and more. Cause Not, I am all those things, bro. I keep fucking telling and you. And that's my point. So why only why only identify with the ones that you like when your skin color tell I a don't. different story? I do what do color I do, but I don't. I'm a fucking Cherokee. I'm a motherfucking sellout ass Cherokee. A fucking nut ass more just like a uh, nut ass probably African somewhere down the fucking line. Before <laughs> you was a Moor. Before you was a Moor is my point. So somebody brought that Moor shit to you, that Moorish tradition. Either you were in Moorish lands when they got when they got turned to Moorish lands, or after. Let me be real. I don't believe that the, the new Moors are nothing. What is the? the are you talking Moors, about the eight the AD Moors, the yeah, Mus the Muslim Moors? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean the Muslim Moors is different in certain ways, but what I will say about the Muslim Moors is this: there was far less black people amongst the Muslim Moors than the first Moors that went in there. The first Moors that went in there. You fucking bring everybody in. That's that's if you're not or you don't have an empire. Or, it is that simple. That's part of it. But at the same time, you can only assimilate populations that are smaller than you. So if they go somewhere like Nigeria, they can never turn Nigeria Arab. But if they go somewhere nah, like Lebanon, took while, but nah. took a while. It can't be done. It still hasn't been done. Nigeria is still you can't really do Nigeria is still that's what I'm saying. It's certain places. Now Lebanon. Almost everybody there looked like the bull that just the, like the bull that committed the crime. But that's why I tell you to study Chinese and Indian history, where they just straight cut niggas' heads off, bro. bro. Sir, some of them do, and some of them was weak. That's, it. that's what I'm saying. So you talking about the kingdoms? You always talk about the power. You don't talk about the small people. I noticed they got that. Their heads cut off, bro. Some of them. 
like the people in what's the name, you know, you know, their stories, you know about Pol Pot. Then people was chilling until that time. Then people in Vietnam, they was chilling until Pol Pot started the nut shit. So that's what I'm saying. Different places is different strokes. Now the big wigs, yeah, China, I'm with you. Japan, I'm with you. Like when you talk about the Ainu, the Ainu was people who come from Africa. They mix with different Asians along their way to motherfucking Japan. When they get there, just like us, they are not 100% African. Facts. We do not disagree there. We agree. Now, the people who come in, the Yayoi, the Yayoi come from Indo-Aryan and Mongoloid mixings. That's why there's such white Asians like the ones in China, North Korea, South Korea, and Japan. Those people, the difference is they came in with a much larger number of people than the Ainu. That's why you can barely find the Ainu today because they, the, some got assimilated, some left, and some is still up there in the mountains not mixing with them yellow motherfuckers. I mean, when they dropped that bomb and it was all black, like fucking Chinese people. So, what I'm saying is like another place like facts, I, I mean you talking Nagashima? about Nagashima yeah. Nagashima yeah. Uh, Nagasaki that bomb, that was black fucking, uh, monks, nigga. you talking about Hiroshima yeah Hiroshima and, and Nagasaki yeah I mean what I'm what I'm explaining to you is I ain't never hear that pot by that time and even when you watch the uh, Arab shit that's happening today they fucking up the black Muslims correct this is all facts, correct bro. they always been Correct. So it. now let's use what he just said, y'all. Black, according to these Arabs and these these people who come from Moors and come from North Africans, black is bad. I wonder where they got that notion from. They got it from the Middle Easterners who gave it to the North African and the European. Because right, he this right. They gave the Indians gave it to the uh, No, the, the Indians did not dislike oh, the Indians did not dislike black people. That starts once those people he talking about right now out of Iran and Turkey take the over. Is the worst of the Listen, y'all. What the fuck? I'm telling y'all why. Because the people he talking about from Iran and Turkey didn't just go in one direction. They went in both directions. And once they take over India, the same rules Bro, apply. I'm in India and I, I never, I'm never going to see you again, nigga. Ever. Bro, you missing my point. You agree, that, you agree that India is made up of multiple different people, right? Uh, no. No? It's got a caste system, and they, they pretty... Uh, so I'm out. saying over the hundred, no. over the thousands or tens of thousands of years, multiple different people from different parts of Asia, Africa, Europe, and uh, the Middle East have migrated into India, and their descendants live there today, right? Say it again? Multiple different people from Asia, Africa, the Middle East, and Europe throughout the tens of thousands of years have migrated to India, and their descendants live there today, right? Nah. No? Nah, India ain't got a caste system. Before, I mean, they, they, had the Before they had the caste system. Before they had the British caste system. Remember, that's the si first niggas who made a caste system. That's listen, why we fucked up over here. Listen, listen, y'all. I'm, I'm going to break it down to y'all. Again, he don't know what he's talking about. The oh, God. They got the caste system when they was under the rule of Britain. That's when India start doing the white people. That ain't even when they start doing the white people shit, because the white people shit ain't even white Why people do you shit. Love giving these white people so I'm not, much I, credit, I was bro. just about to take I, it from them. It. I was just about to take it from them. It's actually a Middle Eastern culture. It's an Afro Asiatic culture that they gave the Europeans. And then when the British invaded India, the, when the British crazy, invaded India, fashion. now I'm That's giving people British credit. Now, now I'm giving people credit for something that they did. The British didn't invade India, y'all. They did. Okay, so when the British invade India, that's when you get your caste system. Before that, before that, okay. before that, India was made up of multiple different peoples, multiple different peoples who, who come from multiple black people. No, it's not true. That's not true. It was made up. It all depends on. Now I'm gonna take that back. It depends on what time he was talking about. It depends on what They grow long beards. Oh, the, the sacred uh, people grow long fucking beards and dreads, right? They, it, 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 whatever thing yeah, that, that play thing. That that listen, y'all. At, at a certain time, he might be right. It might have been all the black. The Brahma got to have dreads and long beards, right? Okay, listen, y'all. Listen, let's, we, we, we can do something that he know, too. We can do something that he know, too. The Mongolians was in India, right? Yeah. The Muslims was in India, right? It ain't cool, but yeah. Okay. The Asians, the people from the far, the far east was in India, right? 
I'm sure, yeah. Okay, so like I said, y'all, India is made up of multiple different people from multiple different places. Now, when you start talking about one group of people ruling India, that starts with the same people he's talking about, Semitic people. They're the first to do it. They're the yeah, they first. got buildings over there better than all them terrorists. But what I'm saying is they, but, but not in India they don't. Maybe yes, they do. Maybe yes, the fuck they do. They cities ain't nicer than African cities, though. Huh? Huh? Got one. Hello? They cities ain't bigger or nicer or more developed than African cities. Oh, no, cities, they, still, they still live a uh, certain kind of primitive life. So, in certain For the parts most of part. India. In certain, yeah, 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 yeah you're right. In certain parts, India is fucked up. It, to me, I say it's the worst place in the world. For sure. I say For how sure. they treat the animals. It's so terrible. The, the, the way they treat everything is pretty fucked up. Agreed. But my point they is... Poop yeah. and they poop right on the street and have some niggas clean it right the fuck I up. I seen the puppy in the tar and everybody walking by it and I just was done. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I seen a puppy in a tar. A motherfucker is walking, riding mopeds, driving right by this motherfucking puppy that's terrified and dying. And I just said, you know what? I ain't going to no fucking India for nothing unless it's money. I, I mean, the, the, the sacred niggas drink out of human schools and drink piss out of it and fucking cat <laughs> doo doo and shit. Like, fuck. My point is this. One once those people get their shit together and they get strong and they got the numbers and they got empires and, and militaries, once after Mesopotamia, baby, as soon as Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia is the epicenter of everything that's about to happen. And we talking about around between 5,000 and 3,000 BC. Everything is about to go down. That's seven. Yeah, they start worshiping peacocks. You're right. No, they about to move on out and start taking shit that wasn't theirs. And India is part of that. And it would later be taken by the Mongols. They will fight the Mongols in India. The Semitic people will fight the Mongols in India for land, for territory. This is a fact. This These wars happened. The boy, Jack, what's his name? Jalil, Jalil Al-Shadid or some shit. He's the slipperiest nigga ever. They had him in one place in India. He ran. Moved to another uh, in, uh, city in India. They come and ransack that joint. This is the Mongols. He ran. This nigga run all the way back over to Sinai. I'm then, telling you, the Indians the slickest niggas because they're the softest niggas. And when they gang up on you, they're smacking you with them pots and pans and knives and shit. Oh, they vicious. You'll, you'll get no <laughs> argument out of me. They took the Mongolians to war. And the Mongols... Yeah, you ain't never, fucking with them. The Mongols never controlled the whole fucking India. They couldn't. They couldn't take the whole thing. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't take the whole thing. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. America's was conquered, y'all, because it wasn't that it wasn't populated like Dane Calloway wants you to believe. We were spread out. It wasn't no we weren't populated. And so we listen, out listen, we listen, out listen, y'all, listen, y'all, listen, 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 y'all. If they were spread out like he's saying, right? How could white people bring enough white people to spread? Well, listen, Dane Calloway so he can tell you how we helped them. How the charity helped them. How and the guess who else helped them? We did in Africa. The strong nations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The strong sub-Saharan nations. They didn't ransack them. They made peace with them and made deals with them. Yeah, and absolutely. included them in their trade routes. So this is why you got right there in Ghana, black people saying, we sorry for what we did. That's the real slave, uh, slave Atlantic trade started. The, the one with not too many Africans coming over that you keep saying, but just a, but a lot. But, but what I'm saying is, y'all tell half truths. If we talk about United States of America, right. No, a gang of black people did not, a million black people did not come to North America. Facts. Done. But, done. but, oh, close to 10 million went to South America. These are the facts. Because there was only a, I don't know about that. Paco, there was, Paco, there was only, here. nah, there but wasn't, Paco, what, what, how does it seem them. like they were already there? We already talked about lack they of, they already there, so they black. And nah, that's not true, bro. Ask okay, so so let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all know anything about Native Americans buying, capturing, or selling Africans that escaped or Africans on a slave block? I know y'all heard of this. I know y'all know about the five civilized tribes who was in league with white people. I know y'all know about these things. And then white people did what they did. They tricked them. And then you start your, tear, your trail of tears where they relocate them. So we all know about these things. Now listen, y'all, that's, no, that's the North American, Native American story that has nothing to do with South America. Again, I'll show, I'll, show it, I'll show it to y'all again. The Portuguese never came to North America. 
I'll do it again. Two this, different things. This, exactly. So now he wants to tell y'all that the number of people that the Portuguese, the Spanish, the Dutch, and whoever else was bringing slaves to South America brought was less than the number that's estimated. He could be. It seemed like they were transporting them out of there. Uh, in nah, too, brother, right? that don't make no sense. Where did they take them to? There is no population of American right, black people. All... Uh, so and, what I'm saying to you, is, shake your head and shake, I bro. know about it, but it's a small number of people. That's the point I'm making to you. Just like your Pacific slave yeah, trade. Watching, Just like your Pacific slave trade. Your Pacific slave trade is less than 200,000 people. That's my point. They did not affect the Americas the way that the, the Atlantic slave trade did. Look at all the black people in the now Americas. Right now, like, look at this fucking American Indian. But what I'm this saying, is, what I'm saying is two things can be true. <laughs> black people can be part of Native American tribes. Shit, my personal opinion. They kicked us out. Fuck them. That's how I feel about them. I don't feel as though all of them did that. I, I know stories in reverse. I know stories of the retrospect. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You right. The big dogs. The big dogs. Yeah, you right. The big dogs was vicious. The big dogs treated black people real bad. Yeah, and once they took over, they said fuck the black people. We don't need them no more. I'm gonna tell y'all. This is my. This is how I understand it. The Olmecs. I personally believe they black. I believe that. Oh, they are. I don't know why you keep saying that. They are. Because some, people, about it. because some people have a different opinion. So I don't even... I, I, I try I to mean, be... I mean, you got whole fucking heads and schools with braids but and, again, and helmets. But name. again, I got to eat my own words. I can't look at something and because I look at it, make it a fact. So that's a white man is what you're telling me. No, I didn't say that. Oh, uh, uh, I hope not. What I'm saying that is ain't that pointy. he can only be one of two people. I, he can only be a black man or a red man or a Native American. He can't, he can't be nothing else. He cannot be anything else. Not to me. Because there's no evidence of white people being there then. I mean, everybody told me uh, they was black. I, ain't really I agree. I agree. There's everybody told else. me that, including black people. But if we look up the Omex right now, it'll tell you the Omex not African. And then... I told you so I read that damn Google. This is but what I'm, but what I'm telling you, it, it's but what I'm going to tell you is it is still make reference to that theory. That... Many because they have to all that shit. No, they don't shit. have to because it's a lot of shit they leave out. Like when they try to tell you all sub-Saharan Africans, how can you link all sub-Saharan Africans together when they all wasn't on the same type time at the time when you found out about them? You used to call Ethiopia Africa because you thought that was how big Africa was. You did not know white man. You did not know Middle Easterner until you came into these lands and you were shown. Such thing is really race. No, because no, because they had never been there. I can't tell you what goes on in some backwater river in Australia because I've never been there. But the people who come from there could tell me what goes on. And once I get there, one of a few things can happen. I could fuck with them people, I could hurt them people, or I could leave them people alone. So we know Europeans fucked with everybody that was fuck withable. They didn't fuck with China because they knew better. They didn't want that ass spanked. Nah, Exactly. Like exactly. Correct. They didn't fuck with the, the 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 Muslims, not the strong like the Moors you was talking about. They didn't fuck with them. They didn't fuck with the strong Jews, the Jews that consisted of white, Middle Eastern, and Black Jews from Israel all the way to motherfucking damn near Rome. They didn't fuck with them. The Jews, the Jews infiltrated every motherfucking part of Europe, and they were allowed they in. Down. No, they, they no, they were allowed into every part of Europe because they were said to be God's chosen people. Yeah, then they got kicked out. That yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. They did get kicked out of a lot of places. Absolutely, facts. Most ever. facts. But they was everywhere though, didn't they? Didn't they move everywhere? Now look yeah, at the everywhere. sea peoples. You want to talk about people being different? D, the people who rejected more Moorish rule and Phoenician rule and, and, and Etruscan rule, the people who was in the motherfucking Levant and the Maghreb that didn't want nothing to do with that shit, they formed their own group, the Sea Peoples. They was a mixed group of people from all over these places. They were the rejects, the ones who wanted no parts. Mm -hmm. And guess who they worked for? Mm -hmm. Ramses. Mm -hmm. Ramses III? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. they, they were commissioned by Ramses. Just like, just like Rome commissioned Xerxes. But that's Xerxes. what the Moors was doing. They were just commissioning fucking barbarians until the barbarians rained down on them. We, but, but me and you both agree. Ramses don't come from sub-Saharan Africans. Ramses. Us Moors used to hold our pinky up and think we was hot shit. But me and you. And we, had, and we would hire fucking barbarians. But, and the barbarians said, you niggas ain't hot but shit. We, but we agree. Ramses don't come from 
sub-Saharan Africans. Ramses come from Afro-Asiatics. Who? Ramses. Yeah, yeah. That's why he got their practices. Because he come from that. Just like Ptolemy. Ptolemy come from the mixture of Afro-Asiatics and Europeans. Well, that's what they say. That's what Ptolemy is. Look at his name. He got a European he, name. He, he a little dark. He I mean, name. exactly. So that show you the Middle Eastern or any. But his yeah, name, his like name that. is European. He come from the mixture in the mixtures in North Africa, the Levant, the Maghreb, and, and Middle East. He come yeah, from the niggas who take through everywhere. That's, that's Jesus. That's Jesus. That's Moses. That's Zoroastrianism, Judaism. That's uh, I mean, I would think so. Yeah. That's uh, Noah. That's matter of fact, fuck that. That's all Abraham shit. All Abraham peoples. That's them. The Semitics. That's what yeah, kind of. Yeah, all when, Ab they, when they took over. Yeah, that's what. It because is. where do Abraham come from? Abraham's people. Uh -huh. Where do Abraham come from? Abraham's people come from Mesopotamia, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I named my son Mahaya because that's a nigga who took over India on the black people. And, and that's, that's what, the man. And that's what I'm saying. If Abraham come from Mesopotamia, we know that only one of the groups of people that was in Mesopotamia did. I can show it to you everywhere. I can show it to you everywhere. We know that the first, they call it a language isolate. You know why they call it that? Because their language is not connected to, it connected to any Semitic language or any other known languages that they know about. So the Sumerians, the blackheads, the black people, the Africans, the first people in Mesopotamia, the ab aboriginals as, as Americans like to use that word, the Akkadians, Akkadians, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, and the Syrians are all people who come from where he was talking about Iran, Turkey. Those are the Semitic people okay. who got their religion from the Vedics of India. Okay. So when those Semitic people went to the east and was in India, they got their religion from those people. They warped it. They turned it into something called Zoroastrianism. And they're not the only Semitic people that did that, nor are they the only Asiatic people that did that. Okay. They took a religion because they did not have one. So what I'm trying to explain to this guy... You gotta call me Marquise, Rashad, Brooklyn, Alexander, Stewart. The great, dog. So, so I, since, I be so since we know that the Saudis... I taught you about the Saudis. Tell another lie. Tell Saudis, another lie. I, Tell another lie. The Saudis of India. The Africans in India. They are the Saudis. They are the Sumerians. They are your Indonesian Afro-Asiatic. They are your Fijian. <laughs> They are your Australian Aboriginal. They are the black and brown people of the earth. It's just different forms of them dictated off of who they mix with. All I ever tried to say. They need some swag. You gotta tell them African <laughs> chicks come through. They need, they need a little swag in their blood, bro. Yeah, but they can't have something that we created until they learn about it. Just like we was talking about with God. If a person never heard of the word God, they're atheist by default. And it's the same thing with that. It's the same thing with what you're talking about. Swag. Like That's y'all calling them something that they not. That's but but Paco, That's Paco, 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 on, Paco, how can you call them something that they not? How can they be religious or with God if they never heard of it? How my son come out looking like a yellow dad and he's an atheist all of a sudden? Like, what the what I'm saying is, because I'm, I'm trying to explain to you, he's an atheist until you teach him about God. He didn't come out knowing about God until y'all spoke those he words. Didn't know God or no so by default, so Paco, the de so Paco, the definition is an atheist is a person who doesn't believe in God. If you don't know about something, how can you believe in it? If you've never heard of something, I gave you. I'm not disputing you, but now you about to make an assertion that that language they talking about God, Paco. Please don't do that. The guy got Google. Oh I don't my know, bro. God! <laughs> this I don't know, bro. Is wild. Ooh. Out here, bro. I'm telling you. Who out here, bro, bro? Oh my god. Yeah, man. I don't know how I'm supposed to combat that, Pop. All right, so he's speaking atheism? No, he's not speaking nothing. He's speaking gibberish. He's speaking, uh, he's just babbling. He's not closest to God. He that, make that, it, no, no, no. That's something that you got from religion, no. You're taking concepts oh, from religion and you're adding them to real life. That children are. God. Children, he think about what he's saying, y'all. Think about, think about Paco. Did he know about Santa Paco? Paco, when he came out, did he know that you bought the presents? Or did he know about Santa Claus? Or neither? I mean, they lied to me. So no, no, no. I, no. People Answer the question as it was asked. When he came out, did he know about Santa Claus? Did he know you bought the presents? Or did he know neither? 
You know, neither. Okay, so when he came out, did he know that people believe in God and some people don't? Or did he know neither? He don't know, uh, he don't know all that. He okay, so if he don't know neither, that means he's never heard of God, therefore he's never... He's never labeling it. No, what I'm telling you is why it's a default position. Because a person, this is why God says, this is why God say in the religions, even the ignorant. What is the ignorant people? The people who lack, the people who lack the knowledge of him, right? All right. So an ignorant person is an atheist by default because they never heard of it. That's it. That, so why did God say kill even the ignorant? Why would he make a specification about them? No, but 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 my point is my point is the difference is the atheist Paco doesn't believe in God, right? Because let me say this for whatever their reason is, the default atheist Paco, the weak atheist who don't know if they believe in God, who don't know if God is real, who don't know who don't believe in God, just just the weak atheism. If they never heard of him, it's the same thing, Paco. To, to not believe in something you heard of and to never hear about it means you pay it no mind. It means you do not acknowledge it as real. So a person who never heard of car and a person who never heard of and a person who has are on. I mean, I understand because you believe in God based off of reality. Pac, I watch the show every day. I'm back to worshiping Paco, I watch Paco, I watch multiple shows every day. Something never sit right with me about religion. And I'm telling you like this. Why, why everything sit right with you with atheism? Because it's not making because I get to I get to be how I feel. People have proposed different religions to me, and some religions I went searching for to see connections in religion and see if I could find something to believe in. But that's what I'm saying. That's that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. A, that's not what it's all about. But he is scared to go to hell. I can tell. But only people scared to go to hell is people who believe hell is real. So why? So why? So why do you praise the Most High? So so why would you? So why would you? So why would you? Why would you? So in this nigga's mind, D, hold on, stop. Don't say nothing. This nigga mind. The rap, rap artist Brock Brown is him. <laughs> he said they kicked Pac out of hell. <laughs> this nigga's crazy, yo. This nigga's crazy. What I'm expl what I'm asking you is this. You yourself said you don't know. So if you don't know, why do you believe? You can't. Why do you point at things in reality to describe something that you that you can't describe as real? Only thing that's happening is God got the keys and you ain't heard him jiggle in a minute. Mm, that's mm, it. Mm, mm, that's mm. it, Brock. It's coming. Mm. All, all praise to the most high, dog. All my you know, all my rap kid, that's Tory Lane's. That's way, that's Tory Lane's music. You ain't you still my eight my raps is over your head because you still don't know what I'm talking about, obviously. I'm talking about no, atheism. I'm talking about you know, atheism, that whole joint. I understand that, but okay. that's not that's not how the math is going. Yes, it is. It, yes, I mean because the math is the masses are dumb, deaf, and blind. I agree. The masses ain't gonna take it that way. Cause they not gonna get it. It's gonna go over their head. They gonna understand that they believe. When you believe in things that you don't, uh, let's, sing, let's sing somebody else. Let's sing somebody else music. When you believe in things that you don't understand, you suffer. Superstitions, not the way, Mister Stevie Wonder. What was he talking about? Atheism, pimp daddy. Atheism. When when you but superstitious. Oh oh ye of little faith, you are superstitious. That's in. One version. Oh, ye of little faith, you are too religious. That's in the old version. The I got faith like Paco, you hear, you hear what I just said? In the, in the, Paco, you hear yeah. what I just said? In the Bible slash Torah, those two words are swapped out because they mean the same thing. Oh, ye of little faith, you are too superstitious. That's King James, I believe. Oh, ye of little faith, you are too religious. That's the Hebrew version, the Torah. Yeah, so, so the word superstition means religious.
It does. Because there is no fat behind it. Just like Dracula. Just like Frankenstein. Just like the Easter Bunny That's and Santa Claus. That's see what you can see and perceive what you can perceive. Agreed. So why believe what you cannot see and believe what you have not perceived? I've seen many things that But you don't right know that is, what bro. you saw was what but you're saying it is. That, I'm not and, and went to peacock places that you won't understand though. Don't I'm you? not disputing that you seen things. What I'm disputing, what I'm disputing, what I'm disputing is that I you had that what I'm just what I'm just what I'm disputing is that you know that it's God you saw. That's what I'm disputing. Uh, nah, I want God, I think. Well, I how do you God. know God exists? So, so what if I tell you that the whole God ideology, right? Yes, sir. There's only one true definition, and it means Pharaoh, ruler, king. Okay, that makes sense to me. Okay, so okay. now, now what if I tell you the second part to that? That's that, what I'm trying to say most high, mean, but I guess so, that's probably what we're getting into. Okay, so so again, but I'm I'm gonna differentiate minds right here. Those are all titles for people, not supernatural powers. Not superhuman beings. Not yeah, they only saying that uh, those people is the representative of the true God on earth. That's all they said. Which would That's be only, which would said. be a lie. That's it. Which would be a lie. There is no. Well, you go find Ramsey's and holler at him because they fucking mangle you. Did Ramsey's have? The, did Ramsey's? <laughs> did Ramsey's have slaves? They you to the blip. <laughs> did, Ram, did Ramsey's have slaves? Huh? Did Ramsey's have slaves? Did. The people who was Hebrews, who, Ju who Judaism was forced on them, they were slaves, right? The black people in America, dirty like a slave master. The black people, the black people who are Christians in America today, they had they had masters too, right? The people of Egypt who believe in in already did Egypt. Mesopotamia had slaves, right? So all these people, so all, right so all these people, he talking about that he's saying believe this stupid fucking shit. It was forced on them. They were enslaved. And somebody forced it down their throat and made them believe it. Somebody said you believe it or you die. Somebody say that you practice it or you die. What you going to do? You going to.